Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Okay, so this could be you or it could be the other person. Um, but I, I have a, a male figure here. Um, I feel like this person has withdrawn. They took a fall. They've withdrawn. See, look, there they are. They took a fall and they've withdrawn. Well, notice that the fool is up here uh, showing this king his reflection in the mirror. So what I feel this is, is this person took a decision here because they thought that somebody was being deceptive, uh, hiding something. Um, now... Uh, they will find out that maybe they were deceiving themselves. So um, this has them uh, maybe feeling like a fool. Um, I feel like they were uh, obsessing. They were in the dark. Uh, or felt they were in the dark, they were in the dark about something um, unhappy. The outcome wasn't going the way they wanted. Um, they were ob obsessive, obsessing over someone. This, this person, uh, for them, was the one. But there were other issues going on here. There were other things going on with them that uh, caused this loss, this fall to happen. You see, uh, we have ghosts of the past here with death. Um, something, something they believed to be true. Uh, and this, this belief, uh, I feel, was shaped or carved from uh, their past experiences. Things they weren't dealing with. And uh, this fall, possibly even an explosion, uh, would have happened because of things they let pile up, okay? We see that there's a lot of emotion here, and this is why I'm thinking that there could have been an explosion. There was a lot of negative thinking. They were being literally bombarded and attacked by all of these uh, swords, negative thoughts that came from the past, their fears because of past experience. They were so afraid of what they were going to receive. Um, uh, greatly burdened by all of these thoughts they were having, unable to think clearly, unable to see. Emotion was getting in the way here. And so naturally, amidst all of that uh, energy, um, I can really feel it all over the place, um, there was a breakdown in communication. Things didn't go well at all, and they took a fall. And so, I feel like there's, it began as them thinking that somebody was deceiving them, but then they realized they were the deceiving themselves. And so, an opportunity for a relationship uh, got put up on a, on a shelf, so to speak, but was still greatly desired, was still greatly desired. It's like, it's like holding on to these past ghosts, letting these, you know, um, Holding on to these past ghosts may have caused them to, like there's a, there's a consequence for every action, you know, and so it may have caused them to end up losing the one thing they greatly desired, the, the one thing they really wanted. Because she is the one. They don't feel like they have much left to work with. They're feeling very much on edge. Because now they have to come back from this fall. 
They have to come back from anything they said or done. They have to own up to it. They have to take action on it. They still look at them. They're down on their knees. They don't have much to work with. There they are in the hangman position. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. There, there it is. They're apart. There it is. That's how it stands. Right? And so they don't know what to do. They're like, well, what can I do? I, I, you know, I, this person's on edge here and they're praying. That's what they're doing. That's, you know, that's what they feel. The, the only thing that left that might help them is the divine. And so they're down on their knees and, um, and praying. They want this. They want this. They want to uh, tell somebody they're sorry. They want to own up to what they've done. They want to move this to uh, a better place. This is a Six of Swords in this deck. Um, they want to take it out of this energy. They want to fix things. Um, justice is here. They weren't fair to the other person. They weren't fair. Mm -mm. No. They could have possibly falsely accused them of something because of their own insecurities. And they may have just saw that a little bit too late. Now, they must come back from this. Uh, you know, the question is how. I feel like this person is like at a rock bottom type of energy. Um, still hoping to get this, this person back. Oh my gosh. Page of Stabs is here. Um, they know they're going to have to be really persuasive. He, he, he's very persuasive. Um, they're going to have to say all the right things. They're going to, uh, they're going to be defending themselves, of course, when they come back in because they've done, they know they've done you wrong, right? So they're going to need to be very persuasive. This person is thinking this action through. And they're hoping this is, um, there they are, you see? This is a card of begging for forgiveness. It's, it's in the reverse because they're not sure that you're going to forgive them. This is a chance. Uh, this is a, yeah, it's in the upright. It's a card of second chances in this deck. And so in the reverse, again, this is something they're not sure they're going to get, but they're wishing for it. Okay, so they're not sure they're going to get this after what they've done, but they're still wishing for it. They're wishing for this queen. There she is. That's the same card, except here they're worried she's not going to forgive them here. You see, if they go to her on hands and knees, they're not sure she'll forgive. But they're wishing for it. They're hoping for it. There's the wish again. <laughs> wishing to be able to work together. Looking at the details of doing this. Somebody here is getting this wish. They're going to get their wish. This person that they are greatly attracted to, they're definitely going to get this wish. They may have to take an action to do it, though. They may have to own up to something they've done, and I feel like they are going to do this because it haunts them. It won't leave them alone. It haunts them. Okay? Look at that. They're being attacked. It haunts them. All right? So uh, they have to come and do this. And they will. Hope is here. Hope is here. And hope is here. Okay? Uh, and we have the sun. So the sun speaks to positive outcomes. The sun speaks to healing, warmth, or returning to warmth, or even somebody returning. We see, uh, okay, so I just want to show you something, if I can find it again. 
Where was it? It was over here, I believe. All right. I want you to see the body language there. So somebody's upset. The other one really wants to come back, but mm, maybe he feels she's upset. And maybe he feels because he looks like he's kind of hesitating there with that move. But I want you to see on the sun card how this couple is now sitting because this is what's coming. You see they are close. He must have told her or tells her something. Look how her hand goes onto her chest like, oh my God, it's like they just told her something very surprising. So it's very possible that this person has something very surprising uh, to say, to tell the other. And so if this is happening to you, um, you can expect this person to right this wrong. You can expect this person to own up to what they've done. And you can expect some type of surprise that's coming from this person, I feel. Something is coming to light. And the warmth will definitely be returning to this relationship. I see it right here. They're currently in the dark, but whatever they're in the dark about will be shown to them. It comes to light. The sun is here in the reverse, but it is here in the overall energy, in the upright. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.